I was there for game one and then I watched all the other games on TV. Uh, but the moment was bigger than the Suns. The moment was bigger. And you don't think they were ready for it? I, you know, it's hard. It, it's a different kind of game when you get into the final. Everybody talks about it. This is a different kind of game. And closing out people who have already been there and you have not been there, it's a different way of playing it. And I saw after, the, after their game three loss, and then they came into the game four, I, all of a sudden I saw a team change where they were playing not to lose. They were playing on house money because no one expected it to be there. And when they got to the finals, that was it. This is We win these, we're champions. Right. And it's easier to play on house money. When you get there and you have to go up against someone who's been beat and been sent home and you never had that feeling. Right. Uh, Booker Ty, he said, I've never, I never, I, I've never felt like this. Uh, Monty Williams talks about not feeling like that before. They know what that is now. Now it's not about playing not to lose. Now it's playing only to win. Here was my thing, dude. I, you know, and, 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 you know, God rest his soul. He, he, he typecast himself. It's hard for me to see James Gandolfini as anything other than Tony Soprano. And what's so weird is his natural voice feels like he's putting on a performance. performance. Even though no, that's, that's his, his natural voice. That's his natural yeah. voice. Because I'm so used to Tony. There was a scene where um, he says to the, to the guy when he has his daughter, don't talk about my daughter. He said, don't talk about my daughter. I'm used to, don't talk about my daughter. And it's all, you hear the tone yeah. in his natural voice. Don't talk about my daughter. But it's daughter. And I'm just, it, it, it's throwing me. Dude, how, how good is those scenes though? My favorite scene, my favorite, I don't know why I love this. And you're right. I do have some weird things right. about me when it comes to these movies. There's a line in there, which I just thought was so well delivered. And just the idea of even thinking about it, it's when, uh, uh, James Gandolfini, whose name is Bear in it, and yeah. he takes Bear down in between the cars because he, he wants the key back. He, and right. I love those scenes where he's like, what kind of gangsters are you? Dude, when when they went into the restaurant and, he, you know, uh, Gandolfini as Bear tried to be threatening and Travolta cups his nuts and throws him down the stairs. You don't do that to Tony. Like, that's my mindset. Like the, <laughs> he, James Gandolfini was such a, 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 a intimidating physical, scary presence to see him slapped around. It, it was like, yo, this feels weird. Uh, when he told the guy, why don't you turn your car around and go back to Miami? Why don't you turn the car around and go back to Miami? It, it just, it just, it feels weird, man. But when he hits it, when he takes him down and he's laying there and he says, breathe, breathe. Cause he knocks the wind out of him. He goes, he goes, what is this? The same shirt, just a different color hibiscus. Yes. I thought that line was so genius because it's so. Who says that? Dennis Miller. <laughs> Why don't you wear a different shirt? It's the same shirt, but a different hibiscus. Hi, huh, babe. 